In this video, I'm going to create a new module that will control the colors of the procedural skybox. It should be a pretty quick video, so let's get started. Before we get started with the code, let's take a look at the procedural skybox. The skybox is a material that makes use of a shader written by Unity. If we look at the material, we can see the sky color and the ground color settings. These are the two settings that our module will control. If I click on the gear icon and choose Select Shader, I can then see the names of these fields that are used in the shader. These names are what we will call in the module script. Since these names are strings, they will not be autocompleted, so it's important to get the spelling right, including the underscore. All right, onto the coding. In the day-night cycle folder, I'm going to create a new c -sharp script and call it Skybox Module. Opening the script in Visual Studio, I'm going to change the inheritance to the DN module base created in an earlier video. This requires the implementation of the update module function, just like with the moon module. I'll also remove the start and update functions as the script doesn't need them. Next, I'll add two serialized fields, each of type gradient. The first I'll call sky color, the second horizon color. It's worth noting in the procedural skybox, what Unity calls the ground color largely functions as a horizon color, and that naming makes a bit more sense to me. Next, our update module function needs just two simple lines of code. We can reference the skybox at render settings.skybox. This gives us a reference to the skybox material, and from there we can set the colors. The function setColor takes two arguments. The first argument is a string, which is the name of the color. This is what we looked up in the shader. The second is the value of the color. In this case, we'll use the gradients defined above. In each case, we'll evaluate the gradient using the value of the intensity passed in from the controlling day-night cycle script. If you missed the last video where I created the modular framework, make sure to go back and check it out, as this script won't function without it. Going back into Unity, Make sure to drag and drop the script onto the same object that has the day-night cycle script. Now we need to set the two gradients. I'll readily admit that I struggle with colors, so I'm going to cheat a little and use a couple of gradients from an earlier project. I'll also admit that these gradients are very similar, but not identical, to gradients that came in a paid asset. I'll go through each gradient and show you the positions of the keys and the color values if you want to follow along. Just pause the video as I pull up each color. With the gradient set, we can now see the results by pushing play. The change is somewhat subtle, but I think the scene is slowly coming together. If I split the screen and show default colors versus using the gradients, the results are a bit more obvious. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel. If something could be improved or you have a question, leave a comment below. Also make sure to check out my Patreon page and Discord server. Links are in the video description below. In the next video, I'll set up a module that will control the ambient light. This will continue to bring the scene to life and will have a big impact on the nighttime lighting. Thanks for joining. Hope it was useful and see you next time.